Hi all, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks and in this tutorial what we're going to do is run through how we can model a basketball. So we're going to start off by creating this component or this model. Um, now there's a few little uh, in intricate parts to this so I'll take you through them step by step. Um, uh, we're going to start off by creating the uh, sphere for the ball and then we're going to create this, these patterns for our cutouts. Now the complex bit here is getting this groove all the way around the ball, especially um, this shape here in the back there that goes all the way around the back. Okay, so we'll run through the process and um, uh, we'll produce a basketball. Let's have a go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start off on the front plane and I'm going to create a sketch on that. And that sketch is going to be a circle from my origin. And it is going to be a diameter of 245. Um, we're going across that ball there. Now I'm going to put a center line in. Drop that down like so and I am going to trim off this excess here okay now what I want to do is revolve this around so I'm going to revolve this around the center point so I'm going to go to features revolve okay now I want to revolve this around but I want to create a thickness to this so I'm going to go to thin feature here and I'm going to create a thickness there of um, 2.5 mil from that line. Now, that's going to give us our 2.5 thickness onto our model there. So I'll just tick there to include that in. Okay. Now we've got our ball that is completely hollow, so I'll just show you the cross section so you can see. Now it's adding in a center line through the middle there, so we can just edit that and get rid of that. So if I go back to my sketch here, right click on there, edit sketch, I'm just going to change that center line for construction and exit there. And we'll edit it with that hollow ball, like so. Come out of that cross section. Lovely. Okay, so we've got that now in place. Now what we're going to do next is to create that pattern around the outside. So I'm going to go to a view. Now that's my front view, so um, I'm going to sketch on that front view plane. So sketch. The first thing that I'm going to do is create two center lines. From this origin point, one coming out to the edge and the other one coming up at 45 degrees. So from that point there to that line, I want that to be set at 45 degrees. And we are like so. One tick. Okay, so from there I'm going to click the line tool and I'm going to create this profile. So I'm just going to bring a line down here somewhere. I'm going to come back to the point and turn it so it creates an arc. I'm just going to drag that down and drop it around there somewhere. Okay. Now the idea of this is I'm going to take that, that center point in my arc and that um, uh, horizontal line and make them a coincident relationship. And I want to take the two end points of this arc and give them a vertical relationship to each other. Now I want this arc here to be offset to this edge by 30 mil. So if it'll pick up on the end here, to that point to that point, and that should be 30 mil offset, like so. Okay, now we can repeat this on the other side by just uh, mirroring that line across. So if I mirror, I'm going to mirror that line 
and I'm going to move about this center line here and tick there. So that's going to be my first profile. So I'm going to turn that profile into a projection onto the surface of this ball. So if I go to features and I go to curves, go project a curve, it'll pick up the sketch because it's still highlighted. I want to take it onto a face. So I'm just going to click this face here. And as you can see there, it's projected the curvature onto that face. And I can tick like so. Click now and we'll see that curvature there on that face. I'm going to repeat the same and create the one coming around the back here as well. So go back to that front face view. I'm going to sketch on the front plane. And again, creating, a creating two center lines. This time I'm offsetting it at 90 degrees to where I was. So I'm going straight up there. And I'm going to come and meet up over here as well. Okay, so this should be set now at 45 degrees. I can just check that. 45 degrees, so I'm happy there. It's fixed to the end point, this line anyway. So if I click the line and bring this down away, hover off, go back to where the end point, the last line, bring it away again, and then we'll get that arc. Just going to drop that down there. Click the center point of my arc and my and my vertical line and make them uh, coincident and then I am going to make a horizontal relationship between the two end points of my arc like so again I need to offset this from the center so I'm going to find that point at the top of my arc and the center of my origin and give that 30 mil gap like so okay I'm just going to mirror this line across this center line to finish off that profile, like so. Now, if I exit that sketch, come to features, and I'm going to project that curve as well. Now, if I click the surface there, you'll see it's going to project it in the same direction. I want it to come in the opposite direction around the back here. So I'm going to reverse the direction. And you'll see it follows on around the back of this sphere. Tick like so. Okay, so what we've got there then is this curvature that follows around the back. Now, this is going to be half of the shape. The other half is going to be down here. But I'm going to model this first and then I'm going to um, pattern it around. Okay, so um, to model this, first of all, if I want to treat this as a curve, that I can sweep a cut along, I need to effectively join the two um, curvatures together. So I'm going to click here, come to my curves, and I'm going to pick a composite curve from that one and this one. Okay. And once I've got them two, click there, and it'll create a composite curve from them two options. Now, if I go back to the front view, there, I can sketch back on that front plane. And this time I'm going to create the shape of which the cutout is going to be. So I'm going to use the straight slot tool. And I'm just going to draw this in here somewhere. Rough, random size. I'm not going to bother about size to start off with. I'll get the size right in a sec. First of all, I'm going to uh, make this line and the center point of this pierce relationship. And once I've got that in place, I am also going to make between this line and the outside of my sphere, I'm going to make a tangent relationship. Okay, well, that means that I'll take tangential with that line all the way around, or with the sphere all the way around. Now I need to put some sizes to this slot, so it's going to be 5mm across. And my radius is going to be 0.5. Like so, giving me a small little groove cut out around this shape. So if I go to now to features, and I am just going to exit that sketch. 
in a sweet cut in a sweet little cut of that sketch around that compound curve all the way around like so and tick now what you'll see now is that we've got that cut out all the way around there so the next step is to um, pattern that so that it follows itself all the way around again now I need to create an axis to pattern around so I'm going to put an axis in based around um, my right plane and my top plane putting an axis straight through the center of there so if I click both of the planes come to um, reference geometry and click axis it will create an axis through the center of them two planes now what that means is I can now circular pattern that feature around axis 2 so if I find that feature which is going to be there I am going to um, equally space them two and you'll see now that the pattern follows all the way around giving me the cutout like so okay um, I am also going to create a profile uh, cut through around the outside as well so um, let's set that up Click on the front view. I'm going to sketch on that front plane, giving it a center line on the front. I'm going to go from the origin out to the edge, like so. And at that end point, I'm going to create that same profile I did to cut out before. Now, pick the center point of that slot and the edge of that line I'm going to make them coincident like before but I am also going to take the edge of that circle and this line going across and again make them tangential give it the same size as before so it's going to be five across and a radius of 0.5 and exit that sketch there okay so to be able to actually revolve that round what I need to have is a something to revolve around so I'm going to create an axis down the center of here which means clicking my uh, front plane and my right plane and if I go back to features and reference geometry and click axis again it will give me that vertical axis there now of course I've got that vertical axis in place I can now come to revolve cut and I want this sketch here to revolve Ooh, not playing okay so I'm going to revolve around that axis and take that sketch there and you'll see it comes all the way around there like so so tick there we'll get that cut that axis cut through and I just want ones down through the center as well I'm not going to redraw this what I am going to do is I'm going to take that last um, cut out that I did there and I am going to circular pattern that um, now I'm going to circular pattern it around that center axis coming across the horizontal I want two, but I don't want them equally spaced. I want them offset by 90 degrees. Ooh. It didn't like that. Let's try that again. So just to edit that. I'm going to offset them by 90 degrees. And we'll get that uh, one coming down vertically as well there. So we've ticked there, and we have our basketball shape complete now I've just got a few things to hide so they're out of the way I'm just going to hide that complex that composite curve there and these two axes here um, just give us a clearer look or a cleaner look on our ball 
Now I'm going to add an appearance to this. So if I go to my surface and my ball, click appearance. I'm just adding it to that feature, that revolve. And I'm just going to add in a colour for this. So let's go for that uh, orangey um, looking colour there for the ball. Like so. Uh, we can make that a bit darker if we want. Here we've got different ranges of colours we can select from, but that one will do for now. And then for the grooves and the cutouts, so I'm just going to take that, I'm happy with that. For all of these cutouts here, let's highlight all of them, like so. Appearance, go to the features option there, and I'm going to change that features appearance to black, like so. Take that, add that in. And we've now got our basketball um, shape completed with all of our shape in there for how we want that basketball. Now we've looked at a few different techniques there going through the creation of that uh, model of our basketball. I uh, hope you've learned something new there and hope you've picked up a, new, a few new little tricks using SolidWorks. Um, if you've enjoyed that, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.